Hi, welcome back to PSL Living. I'm Jenny Newell. May has been proclaimed Mental Health Awareness Month by the City of Port St. Lucie City Council. Art Cheska, you're the CEO with Suncoast Mental Health Center. You're here to tell us more about what that means exactly. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much, Jenny. I appreciate the opportunity. Um, May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and organizations such as Suncoast Mental Health Center are using that opportunity to educate and inform the community at large about mental health and some issues about it. You know, the, the mental health is one of those topics that people don't really speak about a lot. So we appreciate the opportunity to, to get out to sure. some quick statistics. Suncoast Mental Health Center, first of all, is a not-for-profit organization in the four counties of the Treasure Coast. Here in St. Lucie County, our offices are in Fort Pierce on US-1 near Virginia College. And mostly what we do, we work mostly with children and their families on the on children who have behavioral or mental health issues. Okay. Lots of referrals from St. Lucie County Schools. We have mental health therapists and case managers that go into the schools and the homes to work with the children and their families. Okay. And we also have psychiatric staff if medication might be in, indicated for right. the child's situation. We're seeing a lot of children with ADHD, Attention yes. Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADD, Attention Deficit Disorder, Depression, Anxiety, and certainly, you know, the, just a host of different behavioral and mental health issues. So we're really working with them to improve the quality of their life. Absolutely. I imagine something like that could cause a lot of stress on the home life with the other family members. It does. You know, an, an interesting statistic is that one in every five children between the ages of 8 and 18 have a mental health disorder that is severe enough to cause significant impairment in their day-to-day -day lives. Oh One in five. And if you think of their day-to-day -day lives, that includes school, that includes the home environment, right. and certainly you know, in the neighborhood. So what, what that translates to, if, with these children with mental health disorders, they are, they are failing more classes, they are earning lower grade point averages, they are missing more days of school, and then they are also retained at grade level higher than any other disability group. Wow. And then when you look at the older kids, children 14 and older, students 14 and older who have a mental health disorder, they are about 50% of them are dropping out of high school. And, and if you take that group that drops out of high school mm -hmm. with a mental health disorder, 75% of them are being arrested within five years. My goodness. So you can see that you know having a, a child with a mental health disorder certainly puts them way behind and at risk for bad things to occur. Absolutely. I mean, for families, I imagine it's best to just get out ahead of it, in front of it, before it. it turns into more severe issues like that? That is exactly the number one thing that we've been promoting is prevention, early detection and identification, and early treatment of mental health disorders. Because if you do catch it early, then there's a better outcome. Mental health issues are medical conditions, okay? So if somebody has cancer or diabetes, it's better to catch them early. Right. And like cancer or diabetes, you can't go up to somebody, whether it's an adult or child, and say, you know, why are you depressed? Get out of it. You can't it's say, if you easy. have cancer, why do you have cancer or diabetes? Get Knock over it. Knock it off, yeah. Yeah, so it's, you know, it's a real medical condition, and that's what we want people to understand. Well, what's the process? Like, so once a child is diagnosed, I mean, how do they how do they get to you all, I guess, as a resource? We, we receive most of our referrals um, come from St. Lucie schools, okay. but health departments, pediatricians, people can self-refer. And, and what we do is we schedule them for an intake, and then we have a, a master's level mental health counselor who will do that assessment and to really determine, okay, what, what does this child uh, or adult need at this point in time? And if it's, it may be, just mental health therapy. Um, it may be mental health therapy and case management services. About one third of the people we see also do receive psychiatric services. Mm -hmm. So only about a third. In a lot of cases, psychotherapy will be effective in helping them with their situation. Have you seen people come through, you know, you all, and, and just have you seen the improvements after 
you know, repeated, like you're saying, therapy sessions or treatments, that kind of thing? You, you definitely do, and you know, and that's, that's the most rewarding part of my job. I've, I've worked over 20 years in mental health, and I've worked with more with the adults directly, thousands of adults who have severe and persistent mental illnesses, bipolar disorder with psychotic features, schizophrenia, or the more uh, real severe mental illnesses. Right. And, and even those folks with the most challenging mental health disorders can lead very productive, happy, healthy lives. Sure, sure, absolutely. If anybody wants more information, you have a website? We do. It's suncoastmentalhealth.org. We also are very active on Facebook, um, and it is Suncoast Mental Health Center is our Facebook page. And you know, we, we, in, during the month of May, we're doing a lot of activities and events in the mm -hmm. four counties, a lot of proclamations in the cities and the counties in the four counties, also a lot of radio and TV, so we, we appreciate this opportunity Absolutely. to create a little bit of awareness um, but on Wednesday May 20th here in St. Lucie County we are doing a brown bag luncheon over on at IRSC the college in Fort Pierce mm -hmm. and it, it'll be Dr. Patty Corey Souza um, she will be speaking and also our program director for St. Lucie County Mr. Robert Campbell who is an MSW master of social work will be speaking about mental health ways that we all can keep ourselves happier and healthier. I mean, there's little things we can do from a mental health side okay. that improves our state of mental health. But sometimes if people do need more more treatment, you know, they right. can work with a mental health counselor or, or psychiat right. uh, psychiatrist. Right. I'd love to hear some of those tips that you have <laughs> just for her. <laughs> well, you know, we're all so busy, you know, and we're all so connected. You know, we have these wonderful cell phones now that it makes it really easy to communicate. The downside of that is it is so easy to communicate that we are inundated with um, emails, yes. texts, calls. Um, you know, it's amazing how many people, you know, just you're with them and you can hear that dinging in their pocket or in their purse and telling them, you've got an email. Right. You know, and a lot of sometimes with, with, with human beings, some of us may feel a little bit, okay, I got wonder what that's about. You know, you better check that out. Right. So I think too many of us are, are, are connected too much. Um, I'm a real believer, and I'm, I'm the CEO of this company, but I, I want my executive management staff, but also all of our staff, to be breaking away from being connected all the time. You know, if it's evening, if it's weekend, yes, I'm available for emergencies. Sure. But if it's something that can wait till Monday, yeah. let it wait till Monday. Absolutely. But get out in nature. Nature is very therapeutic and very healing. Burning candles is also very therapeutic. Okay. Indeed. <laughs> Meditation is. Um, exercises, exercise. yoga, Pilates, jogging, whatever the exercise, anything, anytime we're doing something physical, right. we are burning off stress and re releasing those good endorphins yes. in our brain. Yes. And um, so, you know, we're, we're really doing some great things to, to help ourselves mentally. Right, absolutely. Well, that's great information, but if someone does suffer from depression or some of these other things that you mentioned, I mean, definitely you are a great resource. We are, you know, and, and again, some of those things I just mentioned, those were just a few, but those can help with depression or anxiety and stress levels, but sometimes people need more than that. Again, it right. is a medical condition for some where it's a chemical imbalance. PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, could be, we see victims of sexual assaults, from, from people who were little kids being sexually assaulted. We know veterans in, in wars, right. the horrors that they witness. Chemical changes occur in the brain and that could result in PTSD. Some of my best friends are Vietnam vets and um, the, the, the things that they've seen, but even the more recent wars, we yeah. get a lot of vets coming back with some serious issues and help is available. And, and my, my message is sure, I'd love to see people at Suncoast Mental Health Center, but there are a lot of great resources available right. to help people with their mental health needs. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you for saying that and thank you again for bringing such awareness to this. Um, again, just one more time with the event, that upcoming event in May. It is Wednesday, May 20th at IRSC. Uh, Dr. Patty Corey Souza will be speaking along with Robert Campbell, our program director here in St. Lucie County. We, um, our number, I can be reached if anybody has any further questions about that event or anything else okay. mental health related, uh, 489 
four seven two six. Okay, That's perfect. my office number, and I'm pretty good at returning phone calls. Okay. So I encourage people. Not on the weekends, though, right? Not on the weekends. <laughs> Although I do get notification that I did get a message left on my okay. phone on the weekends, even gotcha. though I'm not there. But yes. Gotcha. Okay. Well, Art Chaska, CEO of Suncoast Mental Health Center, thank you so much for stopping by. We really appreciate all the good work that you're doing there at the center. Thank you, Jenny. I really appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And we'll be right back after these messages.